Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound lead for iodide. Let's see where these elements are located on the periodic table, and then we'll take it from there. Let's start with lead. If I scan the periodic table, lead is over here on the periodic table, and it's represented by the lettering PB. Now, lead is tricky, guys. Even though it's over here on the periodic table, there is a staircase, and lead is still to the left of the staircase. All elements to the left of the staircase, except for hydrogen, are metals. So lead is a metal, that's why this is a ionic compound. So I'm gonna start with writing down PB. But now, lead is tricky. I would star this up. It's a post-transitional metal, but it's like a transition metal nonetheless. And transition metals, which are usually located here, they have multiple charges. So with lead, don't go by the trend that it's telling you. Lead needs a Roman numeral. And remember, the Roman numeral is the charge of the metal. So Roman numerals take higher priority over the trend, okay? Now, in this case, since this Roman numeral is a 4, it does go with the trend, but it won't happen all the time. So just watch out for that, okay, guys? So uh, lead, PB, would be a plus 4. Metals are always positive charges. Now we go to the next element. I see that it's an IDE ending, which is basically telling me that it's probably going to be a nonmetal. So it's iodide, so this had to be iodine on the periodic table. If I scan the periodic table, iodine is going to be right here. Iodine is represented by an I, and iodine is a halogen. It's in group 7A or 17, and it's going to have the oxidation charge of being a negative 1. So in this case, I will write down I with a negative 1. Now, since we have both elements and both charges, all we got to do is crisscross these charges. It's like a trick to just see how many of each I need in my formula. So this four crisscrosses down, telling me that I need four iodines, and this one crisscrosses down, telling me that I need one lead. When you crisscross, don't worry about the charges. Just write down the number, okay? Then all we got to do is just write the formula. I have lead, PB. This is telling me that I needed one. So you can write the one, but technically you don't have to. And then the next element is iodine. And for iodine, I see that I have four of them, so I do have to write the four. And now we are done. So lead for iodide is PBI4. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, all right? This one was a little tricky, but you guys got this, all right? I believe in you guys. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes, and I will see you in the future lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.